suggest that terrorist Mateen's second wife was in the know of his plan to carry out the massacre. While on the one hand, the investigations continue, on the other, the mass killing in Orlando continues to polarize the U.S. presidential election. U.S. President Barack Obama has come down heavily on Donald Trump for his anti-Muslim remarks, and Trump has hit back. This comes even as the focus now shifts to national conventions in the U.S. presidential race. Democrat Hillary Clinton won the District of Columbia primary on Tuesday, capturing the party's last presidential nominating contest. The focus now shifts to the 8th November election against presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump. She easily beat Sanders, winning 79% to his 21%, with more than two-thirds of the vote counted. The primary closed a more than four-month state-by-state battle for the Democratic nomination that began on 1st February in Iowa. Clinton, who secured enough delegates to clinch the Democratic presidential nomination last week, met with rival Bernie Sanders to search for common ground in the race against Trump. So what's next in the race to the White House? On the Republican front, the National Convention will play out from July 18th to 21st, while the Democratic National Convention is scheduled from 25th to 28th July. Both parties will announce their presidential candidates at these conventions. The first presidential general election debate will be held at Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio on 26th September. The vice presidential general election debate will be held at Longwood University in Palmville, Virginia on 4th of October. This will be followed by the second presidential general election debate held at Washington University in St. Louis on 9th of October. The third and final presidential general election debate will be held at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas on 19th of October. November 8th is the election day. The entire process culminates on January 20th, 2017, with the inauguration of the new president and vice president. Meanwhile, the Orlando Gay Club massacre is likely to prove to be a turning point in the presidential contest. President Barack Obama directly joined the political battle against presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump, just a day after Trump gave a speech on immigration and national security that included sweeping condemnations of Obama's policies. The president responded with some of his harshest criticisms to date. We now have proposals from the presumptive Republican nominee for president of the United States to bar all Muslims from emigrating to America. We hear language that singles out immigrants and suggests entire religious communities are complicit in violence. Donald Trump retaliated in equal measure, asking Obama to direct his anger at Omar Martin and not him. And I watched President Obama today, and he was more angry at me than he was at the shooter. That's the kind of anger he should have for the shooter and these killers that shouldn't be here. The UN Security Council has unanimously condemned the mass shooting in the strongest terms. It was the first time that the UN's most powerful body made an explicit reference to targeting of individuals as a result of their sexual orientation. The 15-member council reiterated that any act of terrorism is criminal and unjustifiable, regardless of their motivation, whenever, wherever, and by whomsoever committed. Former Beatle Paul McCartney paid tributes to the victims of the Orlando Club shooting at a concert in Berlin, and even as vigils continue across US and the world, New angles are emerging on the investigation front. According to media reports, Omar Martin's second wife was aware of his plans to attack a gay nightclub and was with him when he bought ammunition. Reports say authorities are considering filing criminal charges against her for failing to alert them. Noor Salman has been questioned since the attack early on Sunday. Newsnight desk, DD News. In the run-up to the second International Day of Yoga on the 21st of June, experts of different faiths have